Wer eine Reise tut, der hat was zu erzählen. Und uns führt eine solche Reise auf Einladung von ViewSonic zum Epsilon Gaming House in Brüssel, einem Bootcamp für talentierte Nachwuchs-E-Sportler, wo wir einen Tag mit ihnen verbringen durften. For everyone here, I'm Greg Champagne, Epsilon Esports owner. I started the organization around 10, 10 years ago. We got our first sponsorships, we, we, we built, became a brand, and, and then that's where it all started basically. So originally, um, when we decided to go looking for gaming houses, because we, th we thought, like I said, uh, we wanted really uh, places for play people to train, uh, get, them, get them tools to, to, to become better. We, we've been, a, this is our, our, we have actually our, our second gaming house now. We had a, our first gaming house in, in, in Belgium, but on the, on the Flemish side. And, and we've actually recently moved into this, the, the new gaming house, uh, which uh, we were very, very excited about. It was, uh, it was kind of love at first sight uh, type of thing. Uh, we, our players in the past have told us, oh, it'd be nice, even though maybe Belgium doesn't have the best weather. In summer, it gets quite hot and, uh, and, and a pool would be nice. And, giving them stuff also that they want to stay and, and want to train hard, but at the same time having that, that ability to, to relax and chill out uh, at some point. So, um, so we found this house uh, in, in, uh, in Brabant Wallon, we called it, which is basically just outside of Brussels. It's uh, more the, I wouldn't say the, the, the I think in the campaign, like not with the cows or anything like that, but uh, you know, it's on a, a basically on a place on a, the house is actually on a, a golf course, which is it's quite beautiful. The surrounding is beautiful, uh, and then we, and then obviously we, we saw the pool, and then we saw the, the house itself. We, we we saw how we would place the players within the within the living room, and then the rooms were just adapted to exactly what we needed. Every month we get new requests, uh, so we try to we try to slowly put in what they need. The latest request was a dishwasher. So uh, we, we def definitely gave them that, you know, we realized that uh, all these plates uh, was impossible for them. Uh, they're still gamers at the end of the day. So uh, it's one plate, two plates, three plates, and then it just goes crazy. So, um, and, uh, and we were, the staff was actually, even I think the cleaning lady left us twice already. So I, I, I had to get a dishwasher. Hey guys, I'm Andre Barbar Muller. I'm team captain for the Epsilon CSGO main team. I'm gonna show you around here a little bit MTV Crips, you know, and um, you're gonna see how the Epsi Villa looks like. So we can start here, guys. We we have this. This is normally, you know, like it's it's just a simple bedroom because normally we're not we're in downstairs playing, you know, and then uh, stuff like that. So we don't really spend time more in the morning, the night <coughs> to to sleep here. So that's. One simple bedroom here, not much to see, so we had it, we had it over here, you know, we have another one, and another one. Here we have Mr. and Mr. chilling a bit, we had some Thai food, you know, so <laughs> he's a little bit tired after the food, and then uh, it's pretty hot weather here in, um, here in Belgium also, so. Uh, yeah, just a simple bedroom also, you know, um, simple, simple, yeah, that's, uh, I haven't seen this one before. All right, guys, and we have the bathroom here, you know, let's just simple shower, but here is where the magic is, you know, you can lie down here after a, a hard day of practice and you, um, yeah, you just relax, you know, you take it easy and stuff like that. So pretty nice, pretty nice bathroom, pretty nice. And if we go over here, we have the, I call it the master bedroom, but that's probably because I live here myself, you know, so. A little bit bigger bed and, and uh, stuff like that, you know. I was here first, so I grabbed it. So that's, that's, that was my, my plan when I arrived. Uh, no, very light bedroom, you know, and, and uh, a little bit of a view. I don't know, you see, it's, it's, uh, it's really nice to wake up to. Uh, oh yeah, and we have, the, we have the Mercs. If you need a new cap or, or like a um, t-shirt or what do we have here? Even I actually have no idea. Okay, there's more shirts and all of this stuff, you know, like, and then, and then, you know, if you want to do something like, if you go, oh, yeah, I'm hitting my head here. Let's see. 
We have those hype glasses, I think. You know, that's that's pretty cool. I don't know if I can even I can even get it up, but you see, you know, it's a little bit of like a beach style, you know. So here we have all the mercs. If you need anything, you go here, you pick your stuff, and you're ready to go. You're ready to go. Let's head down downstairs, yeah? Here's one more bedroom. Um, I think this is one of the nicer bedrooms also that's you have a little bit of view, you see, I don't know if you can see it, but it's, it's uh, super nice also. You grab a cup of coffee, you step out and then uh, enjoy the view here in, um, in Belgium. Super nice. So we're going downstairs here and we hear there's someone playing you know, something and we, here we have the wall of energy drinks, you know, you're never gonna get tired in this house, that's for sure, that's for sure. And we go in and we see, uh, we have some ping pong going on here, huh? The French masters, yeah, that wasn't really good. Uh, so we have some ping pong, we have some, a little bit of a gym, you know. You see this man is hitting it every day here, so that's, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. We really, no, but it's really nice also. Have a little bit of a gym when you, uh, when you play it also, you get exhausted very easily, so. That's, that's perfect. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, gay. <laughs> Got it on film, man. Got it on film. Huh? <laughs> all right, all right. So we go into the to the main room here, so to say. You know, we have the kitchen here. Uh, yeah, just it's a pretty nice kitchen. You know, new stuff. And suddenly we have a dishwasher. Also, you know, gaming guys doesn't really like to do the dishes with your hands. You know, we gotta save those for better opportunities. You know, uh, and here we actually have. The French, some French guys sitting here from uh, Epsilon France, very talented players. They are warming up, probably gonna go scream in a while and then the stuff like that. So you see there's much headshots all over the place, you know. So that's, uh, we're very happy to, to have those guys here right now also. They're, uh, they're really good players, really good guys also, by the way. Uh, and here we have Bob, he's watching, uh, you're watching our games, yeah, he's reviewing our our game against Ninjas in Pyjamas in the minor qualifier uh, didn't go as we wanted, but it was a tight game and we, uh, we could only learn from it, learn from it, you know. So uh, that's, what, that's what Bob does right now. It's working good, working good. And we can head out. We have, a, we have this little, uh, we have a, like a management spot over here, you know. So I'm, I'm not really invited here, so, but I will step up for this time, you know. So here we are sitting. Important stuff going on here, I guess, and uh, the chips, the wine, everything. Yeah, yeah, those are important. That's a, that's a, gotta have those cheese things. Yeah, of course, you know, of course. Uh, so yeah, no, it is a nice view here. Also, as you can see, you can just stand here and dream away with a cup of coffee, you know, and and uh, yeah, exactly. We can go, we can go outside also from uh, from here. So we. We have actually, you know, I said the Yakutsi was a super good place, but here is the here is the even better place over here. So we actually have this pool here. Um, I would actually jump in and make some flashy moves, but uh, I I'm Swedish and I burn myself, you know, and I can't swim either. Probably, you know, like I can, but super nice place here. Also, we have a. Uh, Really, really, really just nice surroundings all over to make, make you perform at the best and even a little bit of luxury on that. So we're very happy and we're very blessed to, to, uh, to have this opportunity. And uh, that's all for me from the uh, Epsilon, Epsi Villa here. And uh, take care, guys. See ya. We, we do these boot camps for players uh, because it's, a, it's used for different things. Either the players actually come on and, and tell us, okay, uh, we have a big event. We have a huge event. You know, we want to we want to work and, and talk about what we did wrong. And sometimes it's not that easy when you're you're in five different uh, spots in the world. You know, you're you want to you want to be regrouped, sitting down all together, watching the same thing, pointing out you know with your finger what you see. Also, being able to see the your 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 camera's uh, screen is helpful as well. You see how he plays more. You can tell him things that you feel on site. And then, uh, and then after you all sit down and, and you relax, it, it's a, it's like a, it's like a, a good moment to, to just review everything that you've been doing. Um, and also, sometimes we also do these boot camps because players need to. They're so isolated in their own world all the time that being reunited reminds them how much how close they actually are to each other. Because when you're behind a computer, you're, you know, 
you're talking, you're talking to someone else, you're talking to a player you've been playing with every eight hours a day, every day. And at some point you forget that guy is actually, you know, your friend, you're a human being. And, and seeing him in real life and being next to him is sometimes, you know, putting back that link that was a bit lost in between of all those training hours. They, they spend time together, they get, to, they get to work out, you know, they get to go to do some activities together, go out together. So it's also a moment of, of getting back that team spirit. Your game just will decide what you need, what, you, what, what kind of features you're looking for. So, so basically right now in pro gaming, pro gamers are playing in 24, 25 inch. They don't really go a lot higher. They, 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 you, could, you could go in 27 inch, but then you're, 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 gonna have, you're gonna have a lot of material to look at. So FPS, in terms of FPS, we're generally looking at 24, 25. And, the, and in, that, in that feature, you're looking for the a maximum of hertz. And, and you, have, you can start with uh, the XG2401, which is a 144 hertz, uh, 24 inch, which is basically the ideal monitor, which is basically what all our CSGO players currently use. And then now we just have the, the XG2530, which is, uh, which is slightly bigger, uh, uh, new features, uh, more contrast, it, it's, it's beautiful. So, uh, you could also look in that, um, but I think that for that monitor you could, you could more uh, Overwatch would be a great game for it. Uh, you, could, you could League of Legends. That's I could just see it right there. Uh, so you have, you have to really choose your monitor according to what game you play. At least the game you play the most, and then and then go from there. And and just remember the hertz is important, and the and the frames per second is going to be it's going to match with the hertz then at that point. So today was all about, uh, first of all, it was all about uh, getting the, 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 the French uh, CSGO team here, uh, getting uh, our, the legendary Babar from the main uh, Swedish team, uh, CSGO Swedish team, to help them uh, in their, to help them progress, because we do have two squads in Epsilon. We have the, the main and the, and the secondary team, and the secondary team is, uh, has, uh, has actually been quite successful and they're in ESL France uh, competition right now. And they, 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 you know, they, they requested to have that additional push, that additional help from from one of the main, uh, when, from one of the main players' team. So he's come. He's the captain of the CS:GO team. He's looking at what they're doing and trying to give them tips on on, on how to become better. And uh, and and it's actually great, and it's 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 great to feel a, a whole cohesion, you know, between the the players and other players from all uh, from our, our other teams. It, it's what makes Epsilon, you know, a lot more interesting because then all, if all the players start working together, then you have a lot of cohesion and it gets better. And obviously today also was about uh, about showing the new the new products we have. Uh, we the players get to test the new products. They they, they had the opportunity to test the new uh, XG2530, which uh, ViewSonic uh, just launched uh, today, and, um, and and they get to get put their input and, and see what they if they if it's the next tool they're going to use. And, uh, and it was definitely, uh, it was definitely something that they, they needed to do today.